Let's graph the equation for y equals 5x plus 3. And we'll do it two ways. We'll use a table of values and we'll use the slope intercept formula, y equals mx plus b, to check our work. So let's put some values in for x. And we can put any values we want, but I'd like them to fit on the graph. So let's start out with 0. Because 5 times 0, that would give us 0 plus 3. y would be 3. Let's choose negative 1 next, because 5 times negative 1, that's negative 5. And negative 5 plus 3, that gives me negative 2. So that'll fit on the graph. And how about negative 2? 5 times negative 2, that's negative 10. Negative 10 plus 3, that gives us a negative 7. And again, we could choose any points, but it's nice these will fit on our graph. So we go to 0. 3, x is 0, y is 3, that's our first point. Negative 1, that's right here, and negative 2, y, that's down. And we could stop there with two points, but it's nice to have 3 in case you made any mistakes. So we have negative 2, x, and then negative 7 on the y. And you can see they all line up. Let's put a line through that. Let's put an arrow on the ends to show that that goes to infinity. So this is the graph for y equals 5x plus 3. If you put any points in here for x, you get a value for y. You graph it, it would be on this line. Let's check our work with slope-intercept formula. So we have y equals mx plus b. b, that's the y-intercept, and that's 3. So we're going to cross the y-axis here at 3 right there. So that makes sense. Then for the slope, it's helpful to think of this as 5 over 1 as a fraction. It's still just 5, but now we can say rise over run. So we'll go here to our y-intercept. We'll go up 5, rise 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, over 1. And you can see we're right on the graph. We could go the opposite direction since we've run out of room. We could go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and over 1. Down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, over 1. All of these points are on the graph. So we did the first part correctly. This is Dr. B with the graph for y equals 5x plus 3. Thanks for watching.